Today, we're going to demonstrate how to make provision using PMA acrylic alike and in a vacuum form. All right, so the first thing we need to do here is to make a little doughy stage ball. I'm going to put fastening here and I'm going to press this one down. All right, I'm going to use the back part of the press down. So, this is clear, you can see if there's any bubbles, so we cool. We press it down. The next thing you want to do is try to go in and sit at this real good. Close the back, come in back down. Back down. Boom. Oh, no. All right. So when you have it there, I'm going to press down. I'm going to remove. I'm going to have them bite down. Why? Because we wanted the occlusion to be registered in there. Beautiful. Oh, it's messy, but it should be fine. Next thing I do is I'm gonna I'm gonna peel it out this one. I'm gonna wait for the acrylic to be right. I'm gonna just peel it out real good. Yeah. So we put a lot of Vaseline so we can lift it up. Not ready, not yet. So I'm gonna wait. Right there, right there, right there. Right there. There you go. Easy. When it comes up, I'm gonna use the scissors to cut this one. So now we're gonna just go ahead and cut this excess with the scissors. Right there, right there, right there, close to the margin, just like that. Uh -huh. Once you're done, we're going to put this one back in the tooth, and we prep just like that. See? I'm going to press, I'm going to have them bite down. So when you bite down, this margin is going to separate. So what I'm going to do now is going to just use two fingers, and one buckle, and another one lingual to keep sticking in place. Okay, and at the same time, we're gonna make sure we're checking the bite. That's what normally I do when I, with real patients. So when it gets to the point, I'm gonna lift this one up again, like this, put it back in. When I lift it up, or if there's any undercuts, it's gonna get cut out. If I leave it there to set, it's gonna engage undercuts, no good. You see the acrylic, this alike acrylic set pretty fast, so it's gonna set really quick. See, we gotta press down and buckle lingual. Lift it up for last time, put it back in. Press down and buckle lingual again. Have the impression, bite down. Let's go ahead and bite down. And the acrylic's already set. Done. Let's lift it up for last time. And now it's time to trim. What I like to do is here is read the margin. Right there. And we're gonna paint the margin. We're gonna find the margin there. We're gonna read the margin. You wanna be safe. You're gonna keep yourself away from the real margin. Right there right there I'm gonna also gonna put a mark in the contact the mark means I know I should not touch that so now I'm gonna use a disc I'm gonna just trim this one away that right there so now when we have market we're gonna go ahead and trim away so we're using the disc more more this and that's the easiest thing ever you go like this and pull since you know where the mark is, then you you see. So you're not afraid to cut things that you should not be cutting, right there. So basically you do like a 30 degrees, 45 degrees, on the scroll like this. Remember the mark I put it right there? Yeah, you can touch in the proximal, you can. So don't erase the mark, you know? Just cup and going like this. Look at this. 
Now in proximal, yes, I'm allowed to go in proximal, but not to. If I raise that more, it means I'm gonna have open contact. Now I'm gonna go low speed there. And I'm gonna start working my way in probably, what is this, 45 degrees? Or like this. These areas that you see a little step, just bring it down. Just carefully use low speed for that. I used to use more steps all the time. Especially when I was doing a large thing like I could see. Now let's check it out. Everything is just Boom. Down.